The CC7700 Interdictor is a frigate class with a role as an interdictor. They can be purchased by the Rebellion with Frigates and Cruisers Tech 3 for 13,000 credits on planets with an advanced medium shipyard. When deployed to the battlefield, the CC7700 Interdictor has the following loadout taken word for word from descriptions of Awakening of the Rebellion. They have average charging balanced shields with a strength of 3000. Balanced shields don't reduce or increase the damage taken from any weapon type and can deal with most attacking units rather well. They have a whole strength of 2500 with light armor. Light armor reduces the damage taken from all laser cannons, but takes additional damage from medium and heavy turbo lasers. They have a speed of 250 with a high acceleration and a very high turn. Their sensor range is 4000 with a max weapon range of 2000 and an ideal weapon range of 2000. Their weapon systems include 4 dual heavy laser cannons and 1 point defense laser. Heavy laser cannons excel at taking out small ships like corvettes and frigates. Point defense lasers are very accurate but cause little damage and have a limited range. The CC7700 Interdictor comes with the gravity well generator ability which prevents enemy units from retreating to hyperspace. They also come with the power to engines ability, which redirects power to engines. While activated, speed is increased at the cost of defense and shield strength. With all that being said, the CC7700 Interdictor is probably the best interdictor in the game. Its price is a little steep, however it only costs 10 total tactical population space to be on the battlefield. Having a low population space is important for a ship that will be sitting on the backline of your fleet and not adding any firepower to it. This ship also does have high requirements to build, but that is to be expected for a ship with its ability. I find this unit to be one of the prettiest in the mod with its unique Corellian build and its awesome death animation. As always, an interdictor is a must-have for your fleet, however this ship is not super common in the Star Wars universe, so for my own lore reasons I tend not to use them in my own playthroughs. I'm definitely interested to hear whether or not you guys use ships that aren't seen much in mainstream Star Wars. Drop a comment and let me know.